Remember in the first episode where I've shown you how you can make the DAS character the playable character in a third-person project? I wanted to tell you one little thing about animations, and that is in case you have a male versus a female character, that you do have a choice if you want to use these built-in animations from the template, that you can make him look more like a man versus like a woman. So I'm using the female animations now, which are from the Quinn mannequin, from the Unreal Engine Quinn mannequin. But if you had a male character, those might not look great on a more burly character. Let me show you where you can change that. So this is on the third person character blueprint in which I have the regular Quinn mesh that I've made invisible. So I'm going to go make that visible again, just so that we remember what that is. I've parented my DAS mesh to this, and then I'm using live retargeting to infer these animations on my character. So on my parent mesh, on the Quinn mesh here, we can go and change the animation blueprint. So so Quinn is the female Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, but that itself is a child of Manny, and Manny is the male mannequin, and as such he has a slightly different build, and he also has different animations, and they come from the animation blueprint. So you can go and change the blueprint here to the Quinn, sorry, the, to the, to the Manny ABP Manny, and then you can see that this character now has a little bit of more burly stance. You can also go and change the preview asset you don't have to but that you know that shows you he's got broader shoulders and everything and so if i go and make him invisible now and walk around with the character again you'll see that the animations have changed so she now also has that burly walk and you know back in the unreal engine 4 days this is the only walk we had out of the box but since unreal engine 5 we do have both of these options so in my case female animations work better but your mileage may vary. So if you had a male character, then this is how you change that over. I'm just going to go and change that back. This is on the regular mesh here, not on the DAS mesh, on the regular mesh. I'm going to go and set that back to Quinn. And then she gets the lither animations again the moment I go and play my project. So there we go. That looks much better, like it did in the beginning. But now you know how to change it, and I thought I'd let you know that.